Studios Original. Welcome to Web Crawlers. This is our mailbag episode where we play your voicemails and uh, read your reviews if we have any. I'm Ali Siegel. I'm Melissa Stettin. I don't think we have any new reviews, do we? We do. Just kidding. This is from Emily Starr. I'm a bimbo. Boy, yo, 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 yo. This is from Dogs Over People. Always. The heroes we need. Come for the dirt on Lisa Frank. Stay for the bangers <laughs> like alley time. These gals are something special. So happy to have found this pod and fellow weirdos. That's funny. It's not the heroes we want, but it's the heroes it's that the we heroes need. heroes we need. <laughs> um, we got some emails. Fuck yeah. Let me get, let me, uh, get some of those up. This is from Caroline. Subject in is... In the city. Caroline in the city. This is... Used web crawlers in a USPTO filing. Hey, longtime listener, first time communicator. I'm a lawyer, not the bad kind. And uh, I'm writing an argument to submit to the USPTO, the US Patent and Trademark Office, and I'm submitting evidence related to podcasts. I needed a screenshot of the iTunes podcast interface to show how some things worked. So oh I thought. God. Who better than my favorite web crawling pals to feature as the podcast? So now, congrats, yes. web crawlers. You're featured as part of an official legal filing with the USPTO. Honk, honk, oh, my Caroline. God. I love that. That is so amazing. <laughs> That's um, fun. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not going to read this one, but it seems like that guy who used to spam us and who used to. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. <laughs> there's this guy who used to spam us and who used to send us artwork that he made and it was uh it was almost like sims artwork of me yeah. melissa and maria in a office it was pretty amazing it was it was pretty good pretty uh good. Here's one from Krista, Cannibals and Atonement, Dear Web Crawlers. Hello, I'm writing this email for two main reasons. The first comes from my mom. I was talking to her on Mother's Day, so obviously the conversation turned to criminal activity, <laughs> of course. I think I said something like our neighborhood didn't have a lot of crime going on, to which my mom said, well, you remember the cannibal from a few years ago? And I said, <laughs> what? No. So apparently the town we lived in after I graduated high school had a cannibal incident. <sighs> From what I could find, a man randomly attacked someone living in his building with a baseball bat and ate part of uh, his heart and brain. What? No motive was found, but the man was arrested. Super scary and sad. That's terrifying. The second reason I'm calling is to atone for a grievous error. Oh. Like a dumbass, I completely left out giving love to Melissa in my last <laughs> voicemail. Uh-huh. N- I remember. It- I remember. May it be known that I do, in fact, love you, Melissa. You are hilarious and wise. All the web crawlers are wonderful and nobody is chopped liver unless you want to be. Be you. Yum, yum. Bye, Krista. P.S. There's a quantum universe theory that nothing exists until you actually see or interact with it. Yay. Ah, what? I kind of agree with that. It's what is it? If a it's if a tree falls in the woods, does does it? Does does (laughs) Does it? it? Do you hear it? Do you hear it? If a bear shits in the woods, do you see it? Right. Do you smell it? Uh, No, you don't. You don't. Um, This is from Megan. Says, meowdy folks. I started listening to the podcast a couple months ago and I'm binge listening to try to get caught up to the newer episodes. I'm currently in the middle of the live call-in show, August 28th from 2020. Whoa. Um, So, story one. This happened to my aunt quite some time ago. My aunt, my grandpa, and I were all living together at the time. It was around 8 or 9 o'clock on a Friday night. My grandpa alternated working between second and third shift while I was away at church on Friday nights with the youth group having service and going out to dinner afterwards. Mm. Side note, I I no longer attend the church because I was no longer happy there. It was an (laughs) apostate church? Apostolic Pentecostal... (laughs) Pasta church. <laughs> yes. And I definitely. Love pasta. Pa- pasta church. I definitely consider mm. it a cult. Looking back on it. Women had to wear oh, skirts. Shit. 
couldn't cut their hair, wear no makeup or jewelry. You had to be baptized a certain way and speak in tongues to get into heaven. Oh. This church is part of the United Pentecostal Church International. If you want to read our recently fucked up story of a leader, look up Jonathan oh Ramsey. Anyways, since my grandpa and I were gone Friday nights, that often left my aunt in the house by herself. She usually went to bed early, so it wasn't that odd that she was already asleep around 8 or 9 o'clock. All of a sudden, she wakes up because she hears someone walking down the hallway towards my room. All of our bedrooms are connected to the same hallway. My bedroom and her bedroom are on opposite sides of the hallway. She called out for my name, but her response just got a grunt-sounding noise. Ugh. She calls for me again, but hears nothing, sees that my bedroom light is on, and it goes off eventually. At this point, she thinks it's me, and I'm just ignoring her. So she decides to not bother me anymore. Fast forward a couple hours later, I get home finally and I'm greeted by a very angry aunt. She asked me why I came home for a little bit and completely ignored her when she was talking to me. I inferred her I was gone the entire night. I never came home. We called my grandpa to ask Weird. if he came home at some point and he says he's been at work the whole time. She swears Uh-oh. up and down, even to this day, that it was all very real. I would prefer to think she was half dreaming rather than think someone or something was in the house instead. She never had another weird experience like that in the house ever again. That is creepy. That's when crazy. You come home and you just like hear something. And you're like, oh, someone must be in the house. And then you're like, no, no one's been in your house. Yeah, I don't like that. I do not like that. Story at all. two. I live in Northeast Ohio. Uh, shout out Cedar Point. Whoop, whoop. About 65 miles from me is the Ohio State Reformatory, a.k.a. Mansfield Reformatory. Here's a super quick background. Construction of the reformatory began in 1886, and it was supposed to rehabilitate reform young first-time offenders. Unfortunately, it became way too overcrowded, unsanitary, so the state pulled its funding, converted to a maximum security facility, closed its doors to prisoners in the 90s, and lots of crazy shit happened in the building. Now it's apparently haunted, with solitary confinement being a hot spot. Oof. And people know this as where parts of Shawshank Redemption were filmed. Interesting. So in the early 90s, a preservation group bought the OSR for just $1. Oh, my God. Now the doors are open for people to do self-guided tours, ghost walks, and hunts, etc. I've done two self-guided tours. The first one I went with a friend. The second one I went by myself a few weeks ago. No, you can't go by yourself. No, do not. A lot of people report feeling uneasy or, or experience the supernatural. Both times I went, I had no strange occurrences besides a certain light turning on and off. I even walked through solitary confinement by myself with nothing out of the ordinary. I truly believe it's haunted, so I was a little disappointed. Maybe I shouldn't be, though. Some people say they've had their hair pulled or even have been shoved. Maybe I was one of the lucky ones. I plan on going back during the evening to do a ghost tour. If I experience anything, I'll report on them. Thanks for all you do and for being a constant source of laughter, Megan. We should go on a ghost tour. Do you remember that MTV show Fear? Was it Vaguely. Fear, where people had to stay the night in like abandoned old. Yes. Oh my God. And they That's... just had like a camera by themselves. That was just fucking terrifying. Was if I Fear? arranged a, a nighttime ghost tour, of like the Griffith Park Zoo, would you and Martin come? Fuck yeah, I would go. Because that's what I did once with that Linda the Ghost Hunter lady, oh, that's and she right. had, that'd be that'd be fun if we recorded it and and did it for the Patreon. I'll I'll reach out to her. Yeah, Fear two seasons, two thousand to two thousand two. Man, I love that show so much. Oh my god, that's so crazy. There's an urban legend that they canceled the show because a contestant died during filming. No. Uh, Wait, is that real? There's no way. Oh, it's an it's an urban legend. Of course. You only won you won three thousand dollars if you stayed that's the it. night there. I mean, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean okay. if nothing happens, that's pretty good. Yeah. If a demon enters your body, I'm kind of not into yeah, it. Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time to get into some voicemails. Let's do it to it. Hi, this message is from Web Crawlers. Um, I found your podcast about a few weeks ago. I had just booked a cruise and I was looking for podcasts specifically <laughs> yeah. on the cruise that I booked. Sorry. Um, oh, no, and it's I listened sorry. to that episode and am now like, horrified of going on a cruise, especially alone. 
Um, Alone. But as oh, God. Episode, I've been completely hooked and since the last few weeks. I've been binging your episodes, and I'm now up to March 2021. Wow. Um, but I just I wanted oh. to call in and say that if something happens to me my cruise, I want you guys to talk about my disappearance, but knock on wood, that doesn't happen if I have a great cruise. Um, I also have so many synchronicities. Um, I work in HR, and I'm often writing up offer letters, and as I'm writing or typing things out, you guys are saying the same words, and it's super creepy. Oh, that's weird. Um, and yeah, that's scary. I, I have to get caught up. I am about a year behind, but... Also, I love Deb, and I hope at some point you guys have had a live conversation with Deb. I look forward to hearing that. <laughs> not yet, and, see. Uh, yeah. my thoughts are all over the place, and I'm trying not to have to leave a second message. So <laughs> I think that's it. Um, la, la, la. Hong Kong. Love you, ladies. Bye. <sighs> Love that she's like, I just want to listen to podcasts about cruises. And then I found and yours. Then, uh, like, little do you know. <laughs> We're like, never go on a cruise. You're going to die. <laughs> okay, next message. Hi, this message is from Red Crawlers. Red? Okay, anyways. Red. Um, I emailed like two weeks ago. Um, I'm Kendall from Rochester. And Jordan said that he's from Rochester. Um, rest in peace. From rabies, really big issue. Oh no, we're um, back to rabies. I just wanted to say that Rochester must have a very big bat issue because when I was a kid, I had a bat in my fireplace and it was making really weird noises. Oh no! So we checked and there was a bat. So my mom got a towel and let it outside, and it was just laying on the ground. And I wanted to watch it fly away, and I was like, "Well, it's probably hungry." So I went inside and googled what. Bats ate and they ate apples. So I cut up an apple for this damn bat. And then when I came outside, it was gone. And I oh, oh, go um, in the road. Um, so yeah, that's my bat story. Um, you know, if anybody else is from Rochester, New York, and has dealt with bats, <laughs> you know, let's make that a sister out thing. <laughs> okay, thanks, love you. Bye. A lot of bats in Rochester. Apparently, Jesus. Okay, next message. Hello, ladies. It's James from Las Vegas again. Hello, Hi, sweet right baby now, boy. My ears all blocked up. So I don't know if you all have been like up to date, kept up to date with all this like YouTube drama that's been going on. But like no. family channels right now are really like under attack and what? for good reason i mean you should do a mini episode on it because there are so many family family channels that are like that have, i mean there was one that was uh they, they weren't you i don't know if they had a youtube channel but they were like these two lesbian moms who ended up like killing the whole family like, they oh were yeah these kids oh that, the yeah we know that yeah but heard then about they were that. actually abusing them and then they were like uh, There's a documentary the on that. Yeah, they, they were like them virtue off signaling yeah. and like doing all this stuff to like make it seem like they were these amazing parents, but then they were just like taking all the money and they're like starving them the and kids. stuff. Yeah. And there were there are other situations like there's a channel called Eight Passengers, and this mom's fucking psycho. Like her five year old kid forgot her lunch, and so the teacher called and was like, "Hey, could you bring your daughter her lunch? She forgot it." Mom was like, no, she forgot her lunch. She should be responsible enough to to remember it. So I'm not going to bring her lunch. She can go without it for today. What? And the teacher was like, what? So if you guys did a mini channel on family, on like family YouTube channels, that would be amazing because we need to get more eyes on this. Because I mean, children you do need more eyes on this. Yes, they are um, exploited just as much. But I mean, there's actual regulations for them, not for YouTube. Kids in YouTube have no kind of regulation, mm. and I don't know. Not like we could do much about it, but talking about it you know, is something. <laughs> anyway, I hope you ladies have a blessed rest of your day. Stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your week. Love you all. Yeah, that family. Do you do you watch Atlanta? Have you seen the new no, season? No, I don't. I heard it's so good though. They did an episode that I'm assuming is based on this family where like these two lesbians foster all these children, but like they starve them, they use them for work, they like exploit them. 
Oh, yeah, that's definitely based on that. Remember, there was that horrible, U- or I think it was an Instagram or maybe it was a YouTube family who adopted that beautiful child with Down syndrome from China. Yes. And then they used him for clicks and subscribers and then and then gave him up like gave yeah. him back. It's yeah, crazy. that's 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 the one I remember. Yeah, disgusting. Know. Yeah, they kept the kid for like, I think a year or something. And they were like, it was too challenging. Yeah, it's like, it's Crazy. not easy. It's not a foster dog. And even that, like, I wouldn't do to a dog. Like, I it, think because they I, had their own baby shortly yeah. after they adopted. And I think they were like having issues yeah conceiving. and then they were like we don't need we don't it. want it anymore it, yeah it's like i i don't Crazy. even want to do an episode on them because like i think they like they should go to hell like the yeah. the vitriol i have for that family is is next level that poor kid like you can't you you just you can't do that you disgusting can't, you absolutely can't. there's a special place in hell for people who do that Okay, next message. It's like, don't fuck with children or animals or the elderly. For the web crawlers, this is Becky from Indianapolis, Indiana. And this message is really for Becky from England. Um, You're welcome for the shout out. And I just wanted to give you some words of encouragement about your driving test. Oh, yeah. Oh, cute. Your problems are your problems. It doesn't matter that maybe there's people with more problems. This is something that's caused you a lot of stress. And that's valid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, I really am a therapist, by the way. So uh, <laughs> maybe tell. we should talk. Anyway, you can do this. You got this. I'm sorry mm-hmm. it's so hard to get a driver's license in England. Um, here in Indiana, you just go into the DMV. When I did it when I was a teenager, I was next to the Taco Bell. You just went <laughs> in, took your test. Got a you might have to make an appointment or yeah. grab a number. But you can do it the same day. I'm really sorry. That's crazy. Um, also, I have a song about the medi- missing producer Maria. Oh. It's not my original um, tune, but the words are something I've been not really working on. But anyway, it goes. Yeah. Maria, oh, where is producer Maria? <laughs> and, you know, we can go on. But if you are familiar with what that story, which you should be, you'll understand where that comes from. All right. Love you guys. Love you, Becky. Good luck on your test. Bye. Maria. Yeah, you can just, here, you can just get a driver's license. Yeah, same day. You go in, you take a test, you pass, they give you a temporary driver's license. That's it. Yeah. Although I will say I failed my driver's test like six times. times. yeah <laughs> that's right you failed your six times yeah i failed it so many times i had to take my permit test again oh no <laughs> so i get it yeah i couldn't i couldn't parallel park for the life of me i couldn't do it still can't really do it refuse to yeah okay next message hi this is for the web crawlers um i just wanted to say i listened to that um Jameson Bachman episode, whenever that was. I think that was like a few weeks ago. Um, But, and then like last week I went and watched the series that, that like Netflix show about the nightmare movie. And it is just kind of stressing me out, honestly, because um, with, in LA, but I am about to move to New York for like four months for Ooh. a like short term job I have, and so the Big I've Apple, been fucking like, Big Apple, and it sucks because it's only four months, so I can't like actually get a place. So I'm, so I'm looking at lots of subletting because I can't really afford the like right. nice furnished apartments they have. I really need to just like kind of sublet situation. Um, and there is some crazy shit out there, oh, you yes. like, it's, it's just Some of these places I look at are so bleak and weird. And it's just like, there's one where it has like a loft bed in the bedroom that's just like covered in pink carpet. Ew. And the poster seems like they're kind of like 
an old lady and she was like, the apartment's really clean. Like I get up before seven and clean it every day. And then I'm like, why? I'm like, why is that a selling point? Like I would be kind of freaked out if my roommate <laughs> yes, stay like, out. cleaning at yeah. 6 a.m. every morning. I don't know. And then there was another one I found that I'll probably just email in the screenshot. I took, I took a screenshot when I saw it uh, yesterday. I don't know. It's just kind of stressing me out because I'm like, God, I'm just, <laughs> roommate chick can go so weird. Slightly unrelated, but I just wanted to say, Allie, um, I, I know it's going to cut me off soon, um, but Allie, I have been, I've followed you on Instagram for a while before I started listening to web crawlers. I kind of forget how I found you. I think like someone just posted a meme you posted on their story once and then I like mm-hmm. just thought you were like kind of like a funny Instagram per- like I follow lots of Checks out. accounts where I'm Checks like out. I don't really know who you are but I like found you somehow and you're funny so like <laughs> we're friends now <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was back when you- there's a part two can't wait I love voicemails that are about me <laughs> okay I'm back for web crawlers for Allie um, I was saying, I think I, like, started following you around the time that you did, like, there was, like, a, or no, like, shortly before, you had, like, a billboard with oh, yeah, I'm a the radiation you did, and I kind of forget how or why, and I'm honestly kind of, like, I don't totally understand, like, what. Neither do I. I don't know. I'm, like, you're an illustrator, but then I also feel like you've said <laughs> something about writing articles before yeah you've done that as well you're you're, you seem like a real renaissance woman and it's very interesting to me but anyway it's it's called lost it's called being lost (laughs) we've um, all been freelance writers at some point yeah i you would like post about it a lot i'd be like oh whatever and then finally well i was like i'm gonna try one thing so and then i love it and melissa and maria y'all rock too but anyways um i recently um became single after being in a relationship for like three years and I just wanted to say like when I was kind of like thinking about making that choice I don't know I was listening to a lot of web crawlers and Ali you just seem like a very like confident in yourself like single person (laughs) who Mm -hmm. just feels I don't know like okay being there and not having to have like I don't know. Sometimes when you're in a relationship, I feel like you kind of, you know, like I, I haven't hadn't gone to a party by myself in so long because I just like always have this person and I'm like, oh, you have to come with me, please. Like, I don't know. Um, and yeah, you're not like the reason that I like, you know, obviously. I tell I my boyfriend because of you. But like, <laughs> I just want to say thanks for kind of like being a presence of oh, just a seemingly nice. confident single woman. Um, and yeah, I don't know. That kind of like inspired me a bit. Maybe you hate being single and maybe you are not happy and confident and <laughs> awesome, but uh, you you do kind of project that energy. So, Aww. yeah, I don't know. I just wanted to kind of say thanks for that. Um, and maybe other people have noticed that about you too. Um, anyways, that's all. Bye. That's nice. That's very sweet. I have a few thoughts on that. First of all, unfortunately, I have a boyfriend right now. So unfortunately. I, hate to, I hate to burst that bubble, um, who I adore. But um, yes, I would very much rather be single than in a relationship that doesn't fulfill me. Yeah, um, totally. And I think that the way to be comfortable being single is to like yourself um, mm-hmm. and to have hobbies. I have some girlfriends who like are miserable being single and always need to have like the companionship of someone else because I think that they don't know how to like Mm self-soothe or they don't have their own hobbies. And I think part of me being like the Renaissance woman thing is that like I just like to have my own interests. And Melissa, you're very much the same. Like you love to go on YouTube and like teach yourself how to do things. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And I think when you are interested in things you become interesting and then you attract someone who is an equal and wants to support you instead of someone you feel like you need. And that's, that's helpful to be independent. Also it's weird because I kept getting the message last night 
before I was going to bed that like in the past, I think really I've associated relationships with like abandoning yourself, like who you yeah. are or your needs totally. or like taking on the persona of like who you're dating Yes, or like you wouldn't make plans with other people or with yourself because you'd like wait for them to call or text. Mm -hmm. And like relationships don't have to be about abandoning yourself. I think it's about always putting yourself first um, and then you'll find a relationship that becomes more of like a partnership. And my, yeah. my, my, I think Martin's the same with you and like my boyfriend now is like he very he very much feels like a partner and not. Like yeah, it's pretty amazing when you do date someone who's like, oh, you're like an equal. Like, yeah, you want me to be my own person. What is this? <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Like and I it feel like there's no stress, no pressure. Yeah. Everything's very easy. It's, it's totally just different. Like, it's just chill. Like we've been dating for six months. We have yet to get in a fight. We've had conversations for sure. Sure. Um, but like there's been like subtle conflict, but like it's very easy and chill and like yep. we both do our own thing um, and we support each other. So yeah, it's nice. I think it's, but you got to be single. I think being single is really important to finding the right person. Yeah, you got to be single. You just at least for a few months. <laughs> yeah. And single. have interests. Be yeah. single and have interests and yeah, uh, do stuff for yourself. And make sure that the motivation of your interests is not to attract right. a partner. That's important. That's good advice. Because I think a lot of women I know, their interests are motivated around attracting people. And mm -hmm. my motivate, I've had that in the past too, where I'm like, yeah. Caddyshack is my favorite movie. I love Caddyshack. Like, I, the this is my shit. And I'm like, no, I hate that movie. You know, like, it's just right. Your motive, your interests are specific to you. Because yeah, it is what's crazy. More, you how can't find you, like, you unless you're you. It is crazy when you date someone and like you take on their interests. Yeah, you're a chameleon. But then you break up and you're like, wait, I don't like any of that stuff. Totally. Yeah, I mean, it's I so crazy. I like all that stuff. <laughs> I don't. It's so. I remember I dated this guy who loved mid-century modern houses, which like I like. <laughs> sure, they're nice. But like all of a sudden, like we were going to like mi like mid-century week in Palm Springs oh, and like, you know, he's buying me all these case study books and stuff. And I'm like, this isn't my yeah. hobby. This is your yeah. hobby. You know, I, I why am I taking it on? Um. Anyways, that's our be That's our we're actually a relationship podcast. So I don't yes. know if you guys knew that. <laughs> we're therapists. Yeah, we're therapists. Okay, next a message. Hi, this message is from the web crawlers. Um, this is Asia from Virginia. I'm calling about COVID immunity. So I definitely think I'm immune because uh, yeah. my daughter had COVID. Um, and obviously you can't tell kids to get out of your face and like, you know. <laughs> no. Get out but, of you know, face. she was just up under me the whole time. Like, mm -hmm. I just knew I was going to get it. Did I? No. Like, wow. not at all. Crazy. Like, when I saw you all up in my face, up under mm. me for the entire two weeks, never got it. I tested probably every week after, never got it. Wow. Never got it. So, wow. I definitely think that I am immune, and, you know, that's all I call for. I don't, <laughs> I don't call for what I thought that was necessary. I don't know. Whatever, bye. <laughs> Great call. I'm immune. Bye. <laughs> I think my boyfriend's immune. Right. But did, he was sick. I don't but know. Never like, tested he, positive. Right? He was sick, but never tested positive, but had one test that was inconclusive. Hmm. So I don't. I, but also, I don't think he was. I don't think he was rapid testing. He got one. He was sick. He was he felt a little off. Um, got one PCR that was inconclusive and then like a PCR a few days later that was negative. But I think that maybe he missed the window. Um, yeah, he might have or just might have gotten it and not had a huge viral load. Viral you know load, I mean? as they say, <laughs> as they say, and then gave it to me. Uh, he's going to get his antibodies tested to see if they're uh, like super inflated to see if maybe he had it. Oh. Oh, does that work? Because if you're vaccinated, does that work, though? I don't know. He's going to ask his doctor because he's going to see if there's a difference between um, right. having it. And because he he hasn't uh, since his booster, like he ha he hasn't. I don't know. Right. I don't know. Yeah, 
that might work. Yeah, why not? Why not? Who knows? Okay, next message. I think it sounds like Maria's voice. This is Nilza from some town in Massachusetts. And a long time listener, first time caller. Just Hi. finished listening to your podcast, um, the one about the chocolate buttholes. And somebody <laughs> had called in Good asking the chief of police to do a search on Maria. So I'm looking for some clarification. Is it I, producer Maria, or does she say I'm, as in I, a pump of the M, it's producer I. Maria? Very important stuff you need to know. Looking forward to hearing the answer. Bye. As in I, the captain I. now. Yeah, I is the captain now. It's I, producer I, Maria. producer Maria. Next message. Hello, lady. This is for the web crawlers. This is James, James. Las Hello. Oh, I know James. I was right. just listening to an older episode. I believe it was the unsolved murder of Denise Flum. Oh, yeah. And I can't remember if it was Melissa or Maria, but someone said they love the name Poppy. And that okay. reminded me of this song of, I almost said songstress. This like Songstress. singer on YouTube. Oh, Poppy. I am Poppy. Singer. I think her channel oh, was like Poppy. Yeah. Poppy. Yeah. But her whole like vibe was that she was like creepy and yeah. like some yeah. other like group was Poppy? controlling her. I don't know. And like there was a possibility she was just like an android or some sort of clone yeah. or something. And like like okay. kind of like like with the whole conspiracy theories around like Avril Lavigne and everything. It seemed like she was basing her whole character off that. And it was really cool and interesting. Her songs are pretty cool. Um, her song Low Life is a whole jam as well as concrete. But, mm. um, something came out where apparently her manager, who she was in a relationship with, was very controlling and abusive to her oh, and yeah, really. was, like, oh, no. forcing her to like be in this persona, but then was also like actually cutting her off from her family and like erasing her like, history on the internet. Oh, my God. And, and it's wild. And now she's, like, free and doing better and being herself and just being beautiful. And it would be cool if you guys, you know, researched it or anything or whatever. Anyway, love you guys. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. La, la, la. Yeah, Poppy. I mean, she's still around, but we she was, like... We should do, like, a like, mini episode. She was so pretty. She looked kind of like Dove Cameron. Yes, very like blonde hair, ethereal. Every yeah, like, it, yeah, yeah. Interesting person. Yes. Hi, this is a message for the web crawlers. It's Becky. Becky, England. hello. I'm really happy you can hear me. Okay, I'm walking the dog with my husband, and but yeah, so far. And hello, Melissa, and hello, Ali. Hello. Standard, isn't it? that. And I've got an update on my driving lessons and my driving test, but it's just got up there. So, uh, so I really want my test. My boyfriend, my lovely boyfriend, paid for it for me. So I was upset about the whole thing. It's quite expensive. Lovely boyfriend paid for that for me. I booked in for July, and then again, I managed to get really lucky and got a cancellation. And oh, she got an I really lucky. I was literally checking that up like 27 times a day to get that cancellation. But I managed to get a cancellation, and, and my cancellation was for April the 16th at 16 minutes past four. So it was 16, 16, 16. I do have oh, to mention that my lucky and favorite number is 16. Oh, oh uh, it's a blessing. Nope, I'll not leave it. Cheers. Sorry, guys. I was just walking from I'm an Eddie Walker dog, so I had a huge husky in. My, my dog would be better than But anyway, oh my God, let me carry on. I should really do that. Home. So, yeah, but we got my test 16 minutes past 16 on the 16th, and I'm looking at favorite number 16. So I was like, this is it. This is the one. Like, that nothing can go wrong with this one. Like, oh, this no. is fit and the world's way of saying to me, you got it. You're getting it. Like, this is happening on this day and nothing's going to go wrong. So I was like, really excited. I was like, this is it. This is it. I was double checking everything. Car was up to the spotless. I was like, so ready to go for it. Got there like ridiculously early, as you can imagine. Um, and the guy, 
the driving test guy came up to me early and said, I'm ready now if you want to go 10 minutes early. And I said, eh, eh no, no, please come and leave my 16 minutes. <laughs> no, and exactly. Like, oh, okay, okay, good luck okay, time. Because uh, it's 16, 16 on the 16th. And it's my favorite number. And he was like, oh, yeah, so it is. And I was like, okay, I'll come back in 10 minutes. That's and then cute. he shot with me. I was like, hey, come in here, quick. All right, sure, we'll set up exactly on 16 minutes past four, yeah. And it was oh, really that's cute. And, and I passed. So, yes! Yeah, yeah, and um, in all honesty, I did definitely do a couple of things that he could have failed me on. But he no, didn't. Yeah. <laughs> so, Who cares? I mean, that's I think, nice. honestly, it was just like the offer. It was having a chat with my dad before, um, but I think he must have liked him and maybe felt bad because I said about the 16 thing. I don't know. But he let me off. I think there's a part two. Yay! I'm so happy! Finally. Hi, Becky from England. This is for the Web Brothers. This is part two of my just pure joy and happier. <laughs> and so, yeah, he passed me. I literally couldn't believe it. I just cried so much. Like, just happy <laughs> crying. Aww. Oh, it was just absolutely amazing. Um, within three days, I feel like I've just been doing so much stuff. And what Melissa said was like, totally right. Like, the joy that you get for passing, you can just, you feel so free and it's just amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But yeah, that, that literally the, the day after, I went and picked my friend up with my dog in the back of the car. I didn't really know how oh. she would be, but she was so well behaved. I don't buy. Um, and we took her to the beach for the first time. So I took my dog, my rescue dog, to the beach for the first time. Oh. We went on the on the sand and like let's head in the water and we, we got like ice cream and stuff it was just so lovely and it was just like the perfect start uh, to, to my driving and yeah just absolutely amazing so I'm just so happy and it feels like that whole two years of just stress over it um, was worth it just for that one day alone and obviously now I can just find my time and stuff to do so Yes, I've got sort of a bit, but I think you so much let me run about it. It really did make me feel better. Yeah, I just, I just really feel like sometimes the universe just gives you a break. <laughs> I felt like yeah. the universe just gave me that 16, 16, 16, and I was just like, you've got it. Like, you've got it. Don't worry. This is it. And, uh, yeah, so that's that. That's what I was coming. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for listening to my run and real last time. Um, I can't wait to now listen to you guys while I'm driving. <laughs> But I hope you all have a brilliant day, weekend, life. Love you all. La, 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 la. Bye. Becky's done it. She's really done it. She's I'm got so excited for her. She's got a driver's license. Driver's license. I am license. so happy. Driver's license. Driver's that's license. That's so awesome. Yeah, that's that's great. Another stress off the table. Yeah. You can go wherever you want. Drive to the beach. Oh, the yeah, greatest. baby. Like that Olivia Rodrigo song. Oh, driver's yeah, Driver's License. license. Yeah. A great song. <laughs> okay, last voicemail of the day. God, how time flies. This message is for the web crawlers. It's Matt. I left voicemails before. We're not going to get into that. But <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to let you know that I thought of y'all while I was building a test for my students. And oh. um, normally I ask them like a fun random question just to give them a little extra points and get their brains thinking. So to this week for their test, they're going to go ahead and tell me, you know, they're going to do their normal thing, which is on Asia, but to this, their bonus stuff is that they're going to tell me if they believe that we live in a simulation and they're going to provide proof. So oh, I look forward to funny. what they say, because last time I asked them the origins of mankind and I got a lot of pictures. One of them just said like monk. The other one said, like, slime. So, slime, yeah, right? I don't know how that turns out, but I've, y'all inspired me to ask them that question. Okay, bye. What a fun teacher. Slime. Slime, <laughs> monk. Sure, yeah, who knows? Um. Well, guys, well, please, if you know the origin of life. Sure. 
Is it the chicken or the egg? Is it the chicken or the egg? Please, please, please let us know. Uh, Melissa, where can people reach us if they'd like to email or call in? You can email us at webcrawlerspod at gmail.com or you can call us at 626-604-6262. All right. Well, I am Allie Siegel. I am Melissa Stutton. And stay cool. An Erio's original. Powered by ACAST.